what's going on? Today we're gonna to talk about your weight scale is lying to you and you need to break your weight scale. This is Marina from marinafruit.com and one of the biggest misguiding elements of your weight loss or fat loss journey is your weight scale if you're depending on it too much. Now, I know that you've started a really good nutrition program, but the weight scale is not changing and you're stuck on one number and that number won't budge. Guess what? You are not the only person subject to this misleading weight scale. Everyone goes through this and it's absolutely normal, but it's very important to understand what's happening inside of your body to really understand whether your nutrition program and your exercise program is effective and giving you good results. First off, when you follow a really good nutrition program, you are eating what your body and your brain requires. Don't forget, 70% of what you eat is being used by your brain. The rest, whatever is left over, is being used by your other vital organs. If there is anything left over from there, then your body will use it to repair and restore other areas of your body, like your hair, skin, and nails. This is why it's very important that you follow a nutrition plan that your body needs, and you are eating the foods that is helping your body to thrive, not to survive. Once you're following a really good nutrition plan, you need to add in your second layer of wellness which is exercise let me give it to you straight when you're eating really good and you're eating healthy the only thing that will make you lose weight is your exercise it is clinically proven that eating healthy is not the only thing that makes you lose weight it's the added exercise which helps you to burn more calories and to actually make a result in terms of body fat loss so you're on a good nutrition plan, you're following a right exercise regimen, but that number on the scale is not moving, guess what? Something known as body composition is what you need to learn about. Body composition is how much fat are you, how much muscle are you, your bone ratio, your water weight, etc., etc. which is why a regular weight scale is not going to help you to understand your body composition. Whatever number you're seeing on the weight scale is not all fat, okay? You're made up of muscle mass, and when you eat right nutrition, what happens is the protein that you're eating is not being used by your muscle to grow to its correct size. If you've been following a low protein diet all your life, guess what? You've lost a lot of muscle mass, and that's not good for you. So once you start following a good nutrition plan, your muscles are getting all of those amino acids and becoming stronger again. So you're eating right, you're exercising right, your muscles are starting to fill up again and they're becoming stronger and larger. This is one of the reasons that number on the scale is not moving down, but you're seeing inches off your waistline, you're seeing your clothes getting looser, okay? And this is actually not a bad thing, girls. You need muscle mass on your body. If you want to look toned and lean, you need to work on gaining muscle mass, okay? And the best way to do that is make sure you're taking adequate protein as per your body needs, eating the adequate amount of carbohydrates that's not causing you to store further fat, adding in your healthy fats, which is going to help you to make hormones and keep you healthy. And of course, don't forget your vitamins and minerals that you must add in your supplement form. Another big reason that the weight scale is misleading is that when you're gaining muscle mass, you now have more muscle in your body that works harder to burn calories. That's correct. Muscle mass needs more calories to sustain itself, which is why weight training is the best exercise there is. When you're weight training to gain lean muscle mass, even when you're done with your workout, your muscle is working when you're sleeping, when you're resting to, sus to sustain itself. This is where the added calorie burn is coming from. So you have to remember that if that number on the weight scale is not lowering, what's happening is you're gaining more muscle, which is burning more calories, which is in turn helping you to lose more uh, body fat. Also girls, don't forget that you have to understand the different types of fat on your body. There are two main different types of fat in your body. Subcutaneous fat, which is fat under the skin. It keeps your skin looking nice and healthy. Don't worry about subcutaneous fat right now. The second type of fat, which is very important and what you need to work on lowering is your visceral fat. Now, visceral fat is the fat around your organs and we call visceral fat living fat, live fat. And the reason is carbohydrates and insulin actually 
make your visceral fat alive. Your visceral fat, fat around your organs, is sensitive to carbohydrates. Every time you eat carbohydrates, your pancreas releases insulin in your blood, and insulin's job, he's the guy that goes into your blood and say, hey listen, we have so many carbohydrates, we don't need all these carbs right now, everything needs to go in a fat cell. So what's happening, insulin unlocks the visceral fat, all of the carbohydrates you just ate go into a fat cell. Okay, so what's happening? Your next meal, you're also eating uh, carbohydrates and you're in this continuous cycle of storing all of the carbs that you've ate. What happens? Over months and years and years, you're storing all of this visceral fat, your abdominal seems to grow. And that's only because of the high amount of visceral fat that you have. Visceral fat is very, very harmful for you. It is linked to coronary heart disease. It is linked to inflammatory illnesses, it is linked to cognitive decline and depression. On your weight loss journey or on your fitness journey, your main goal has to be to reduce your visceral fat. How do we measure visceral fat? Well, if you're working with an expert transformation coach such as me, Marina, then we help you to understand body composition aesthetic mapping. What I mean by aesthetic mapping is by looking in the mirror and understanding the composition of your body. Again, it comes down to body composition. Understanding what your body is made of is going to help you to understand how to burn unwanted fat, how to tone and slim down, and how to hold on to your results forever. So if you're using a regular, regular weight scale, this is not actually serving your purpose. I advise my clients, I advise you also to invest in a very good quality smart scale. A smart scale is going to help you analyze what's happening in your body, specifically your visceral fat. Now the numbers on your smart scale are around 60 to 70 percent accurate. Don't worry about that because what you actually need is a number to begin with. Your visceral fat percentage is important. The lower visceral fat you have, aka the lower fat in your abdominals you have, the slimmer, toner, healthier, more energetic and more vibrant you, which is what I know you're going to achieve, okay? Invest in a smart scale, stop wasting time on your regular scale, and remember, every single day, it's progress, not perfection that matters. That being said, whatever you do daily, make sure your every day is going well and you're doing the best that you can to do that day. Your results stack up one by one and at the end of your journey you're going to see an amazing transformation and the best you that you can be. Your body is a living, responsive, reactive organism. Your body responds to what you eat, how you exercise, and even your thoughts. So if your thoughts are negative and you don't know how to think about your body, you need to start there first. Having good thoughts, I recommend you do gratitude journaling. The weight scale can be a useful resource in your transformation journey or it can be a misleading thing. Use the mirror, ask yourself what your target areas are and work on those areas and use specific exercises to target those areas of your body. Last but not least, nutrition is key. Your food is meant to make sure your body is getting the raw materials it needs, okay? Your food is meant to keep your body and brain healthy. Added layer of exercise is going to help you to shred down and reveal that beautiful muscular structure that you have. Muscle gives you tone and shape to your body. Don't forget that. Keep working hard. If you have any questions, let me know below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button, and you can find me on Instagram and on Facebook. If you have any more questions regarding this topic, let me know below. This is your transformation health coach, MarinaFruit.com. I'll talk to you in the next one.